Today we're going to show you how to change the surface element terminal block kit on your range. Really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of wire cutters, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a roll of electrical tape. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect the power to the range. If it has a cord on it, simply unplug it from the receptacle. If it's a hardwired range, we'll need to locate the breakers and turn those off. Next, you may want to pull the range out far enough so that you have access to the side of the terminal block that you're replacing. Next, we'll just slide the element into the socket and remove the drip bowl. Set those aside. Then we'll remove the one quarter inch hex head screw that holds the terminal block bracket to the main top. Keep that screw, we'll need that. Next, we'll lift the main top and let it support itself on its prop rods. Now, the rear terminal block is a little tight with the wire harness, so what we want to do is get a pair of wire snips in there, cut them off as close as possible to the terminal block. Discard the old terminal block. Next, we'll tape the wire leads from our new terminal block to the leads that came from the old one. You may have enough room to pull that out on the side, It'll give you a little, little more access. Try to make as small a bundle as possible and protect the leading edge of those terminals as best you can. Now our next step will be to remove six screws in the upper portion of the back panel, three along each side, and there's one remaining one on the top that goes through a little mounting bracket. the little mounting bracket out. Give this access to the back side of the control panel and we'll see where those two wires came up from the terminal block. So we're just going to pull those through. Then we'll remove the tape. Now, we'll replace wire for wire where they attach to the control. If they're a little snug, just take a pair of needle nose pliers, pull just on the terminal. Now at this point, we'll want to line up the terminal block with the main top. As these wires tend to be a little longer than they need to be, so we can secure that in place. We'll make sure that wires aren't pinching anywhere, and then we can tuck them safely in behind the control panel. Now we're ready to reinstall the back panel. We'll start with the top screw with the mounting bracket. And take caution that you don't over tighten the screws on the back panel because we don't want it to strip any of these screw openings. Next, we'll release the prop rods for the top. We'll set the 
top down tight. We can replace the drip bowl. Just take note Definitely of the element, make sure that none of the terminals are burned or arced. Insert it into the new terminal block. We'll reconnect the power, turn on the surface control and verify that our element works fine and our repair is complete.